My name is Matthew Johnson Romberson, and I'm the director of the Robotics Institute here at Carnegie Mellon University in the School of Computer Science. This is one of the quadrupeds that we work on. These are able to run up to about four or five miles an hour and can go upstairs. I think robotics is at a really interesting inflection point. I think we are really expanding the capabilities of what robots are able to do, and as a consequence, the application areas that robots can really jump into have gotten much broader. We're also thinking about some of the really fundamental challenges about robotics. How do these systems understand their world, understand their environment, and move through it? We've built industrial robots for years that use robot arms to pick and place things in assembly lines or weld in automotive contexts. But we're now seeing those same type of robot arms in much more flexible environments around human beings and doing things like picking and placing things in the kitchen, helping to cook, helping to clean. And those are much more flexible, much more difficult applications in many ways than what we've done before. And so I think this is part of the trend that we're seeing in robotics of an increasing complexity of application, but an increasing flexibility and generalized intelligence in what these systems are capable of doing. I think Carnegie Mellon is an incredibly interesting university. We're just a really large institution. And so with this collection of very diverse faculty that work on all these different things, we have ways of thinking about problems that cut across different systems, different algorithms, different approaches that you really couldn't explore if it was just one faculty member or one type of robot or one type of project. I think that in the last 10 years, I've seen a real change in interest that students have in not just finding a job, but finding a sense of meaning and purpose in the work that they do. And I think that there's a real sense of direction that has given all of the faculty here to think about not just how is this gonna affect me, how is this gonna affect my community, but how is this gonna affect the world, how is this gonna affect society? And I think that focus has really been driving a lot of the work and a lot of the real hard decisions that we have to make about what technology to build and, and how to deploy it. All signals nominal. We're ready for deployment. Flight comms. Copy. Astrobotic is ready for us. Copy. Thank you. All we are deploying. Get ready for mission. We have a number of really new projects here and one of them is around space robotics. We verified that movement works and that all the power systems are correct and now we're offloading it so it's a lot lighter and mimics the weight will be on the move. I think planetary robotics is going to be a really growing area for us, really driven by the fact that we're launching more stuff into space than we've ever done before. And as a consequence of that, I think the next frontier of a lot of the exploration of our robotic systems is going to be on other planets. All we have our next images. Projects like IRIS really give the opportunity for students to lead and to really develop technically in a way that that kind of hands-on experience enables. Next movement would be forward 10 at 5. One of the other big areas that we've moved into recently is agriculture. And I think this is going to be a really important domain for robotics in the next decade. The idea is to drive over crops, scan with cameras, and then once the sprayer mechanism detects what kind of weed, it sprays a very precise but very small amount of chemical uh, so it can kill the weed as it drives autonomously over the, over the crops. With an increasing population around the world, and also the challenges with climate change, making it more difficult to grow food, keeping the world's population fed is really a critical function that I think robots are going to play in the next decade. Growing cities, urbanization, climate change, an aging population, pollution. We think there are a number of grand challenges that society faces that we can be part of the solution for. I don't think robotics by itself, or even artificial intelligence by itself, is really the answer to any of these problems. They're societal problems that require economics, social science, all kinds of different things together. But we think technology can play a big role, and so I think part of the next decade of the Robotics Institute is really thinking about how these big challenges, these big collective problems we face as a society, can be addressed using robotics. I'm very optimistic that subsequent generations are going to live in a better planet than the one we have right now. Using robotics to address humanity's toughest problems is what's next in computer science.